Larissa, I'm 20 years old and I'm from Curitiba. I'm studying in the University of Ontario Institute of Technology and I'm taking Mechanical Engineering. My name is Matheus, I'm from João Pessoa, in the state of Paraíba, Brazil, and I'm a student of Physiotherapy and here I'm in the course of Kinesiology. My name is Marco Aurelio, uh, I am 23. I was born in Franca, São Paulo, and I study in Uberlândia, Minas Gerais. And I'm here in Canada studying at U University of Ontario Institute of Technology. I'm taking mechanical engineering program. very new, it's only 10 years, and but it already has a lot of infra infrastructure. For example, the library, it's very large, it's beautiful, it's a great space for studying, and there are several quiet rooms, and there are group study rooms where you can work on your project. Do you think the students use the library more here than you see in Brazil? Yeah, without a doubt. It's usually pretty hard to find a space to study in the library, especially close to exams, but in any any time of the year you can go to the library and there will always be people studying, people working in groups and projects and everything. There's a point that I think it's, it's not a bad point about the university, but it's a thing that makes me feel nervous. It's the relationship between the, the professors and the students. They are very tough. They are very strictly uh, professional. So you, you need to be careful the way you, you, you talk and the way you ask something for a professor, for the staff and everything, because they are much more than respectful. So sometimes you need to be careful with that. Uh, to be honest, I came here uh, without a lot of knowledge about Canada. I just knew the usual things like the weather, the traditions of the people. I didn't know much about the food, the, the way the people talk. I just knew the, they were polite and they were nice people and very helpful. One thing that surprised me was how they are so polite. Sometimes it's even it's funny because uh, even when they are walking uh, through you and sometimes they hit you not because they want but just <laughs> in a crowd for example and they always ask sorry and sorry for everything. I think that is a good way to to see how people uh, respect each other. So for me it's one of the big difference that I saw when I arrived here, the first days I, I realized it and I was so surprised. Just like in the library, uh, spread around the university there are several study rooms and you can come, some of them are 24-7 so you can come anytime you, you want if you want to study like at midnight or something you can and they some of them have printer so you're studying on your computer you want to print something you can just in the same room you just use your student card and print something that's really interesting and you can you you don't usually do group work on those rooms because it's probably going to bother people studying around you but there are other rooms that you can book and go with the group and work on projects because we have a lot of projects here too so my internship during the summer, I'm doing a research with the health science department. We are starting to, to analyze and to study the muscles of the neck and to see uh, the relationship between these muscles and the incidence of concussion that is an injury, a head injury. And mainly, this study, we are going to see the difference between men and women and hockey players. So, for me, in the physiotherapy area is, or athletic therapy area, it's a good thing to do.
but yeah, I think it's a good research for me. I'm very excited about my research project project because it's uh, something related to uh, materials and it can be used to automotive structures. That's a, uh, an area that I have pretty uh, curiosity about and uh, I think it will help me to to have a, a better vision about this field of automotive engineering and I'll, I'll be able to to feel things and to practice my my abilities and it will be a, a period of three months of hard learning. The university, like I said, is located in Oshawa. It's, it's not yet a big university because it's really new, but it's growing. So, and the university is not located downtown, as they say, it's located in North Oshawa, so it's about 10 kilometers from the city center. So we're in an isolated location. So if there are things that we want to do, that we sometimes go to other cities like Whitby that are closer than going to downtown Oshawa. So even though it is in Oshawa, it's not it's not completely vinculated to the city. For us, if we want to, for example, go to the mall, you have to take two buses sometimes. So it's not really. It, it's kind of living in a in the suburb of the suburb. So it's a little bit complicated if you don't have a car. But we can we can pretty much live with what we have around us. Here we have two residences, uh, the Sinkle village and the South village. Now we are in the South village because the Sinkle village doesn't work in summer, so we move it to here. We have a good space and a, a small kitchen, but that we have the basic and outside we have in the first floor, we have a, a oven, and if we need to really cook, because here we just have a microwave. On the meal plan, we have uh, the that they call the freedom uh, plan. It's that we can go to the cafeteria every time that we want and get every kind of food that we want. So now in the summer, it's a little bit different because they don't have a meal plan to the summer. So they did a special one for us. Uh, we have a card that has credits and we can buy everything on the cafeteria. Well, I think the residents are excellent. Uh, despite of the point, sometimes you have to split and to share the room. And of, of course, everybody wants some privacy sometimes. But uh, now we are living in better rooms and it's good it's i i don't have any point any negative point about the residence what i miss so much uh besides my family and friends is a little of food like regional food uh brazilian sauces and because it's very hard to find some something uh, similar here we can find it, of course but it's not the same I think the Science Without Borders program will help the students to come back to Brazil and face the problems with a new vision uh, because when they are here they are experiencing uh, new technologies, uh, new problem situations and it's a, f a developed country so they face another problems, they have different ways to face the problems and this is a very good experience to bring back home and use this in real situations for our reality in Brazil.